When people ask, what are we enthusiastic about? We have to say, solving climate collapse, providing a decent lifestyle for the world's people, and preserving much more room for nature than we do now. There are already a bunch of technologies cheaper than oil and gas that can make clean energy at one cent per kilowatt hour, cheap enough to bring wonderful changes to lifestyles around the world. One of our favorites is a dark horse that could spring ahead of the pack. It is so unknown that it goes by different names, such as cold fusion or lattice-enabled nuclear reactions, LENR for short. Lab results have been increasingly persuasive over the last 26 years. As it turns out, you can burn water, release helium, and create energy with no dangerous levels of radiation and no radioactive waste. Many scientists are in denial about LENR because the reaction is so unexpected. Scientists trust major journals like Science and Nature to feature big stories like this. Unfortunately, those journals' editors made a skeptical stand in 1990 and refused to allow the peer review process to take place and dismiss authors by saying, our readers aren't interested in your field. Fortunately, some big journals have taken note of LENR recently, such as Current Science in India. Part of the problem is science that is too big to fail, such as high-energy physics and projects like the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER, that have huge budgets and therefore political power. The ITER alone has a budget of over $14 billion. ITER modestly calls themselves the way to new energy, but they can't deliver anything for 20 years, which is way too late for the climate. ITER's dependents can't afford to hear that LENR already started making energy converting hydrogen to helium over 20 years ago at less than one thousandth the cost. LENR experiments have demonstrated over unity energy return for 26 years but pathological skeptics refuse to see the light. Any qualified mechanical engineer or experimental physicist can verify that the reaction performs as described by the published peer-reviewed papers. We do have a nice theory about why the reaction works and shows why the plasma physicists in denial are 90% right. It really is impossible to do thermonuclear fusion on a desktop using the tools of chemistry. We can't force positive charged particles together and overcome the Coulomb barrier. A shortcut exists about halfway between the energy levels of chemical and nuclear reactions. Solid state materials host far more complex systems than random plasmas. Because the LENR reaction chain involves merging positive and negative particles, or positive and neutral particles, it doesn't require the heat and pressure of the sun. We now understand why the signature radiation of fusion is missing and can explain the transmutation products left in the metal. There are only three really new things in the LENR reaction that physics wasn't expecting. A proton can capture an electron to form an ultra-cold neutron. A proton can capture three ultra-cold neutrons, forming hydrogen-4 and heat. Hydrogen-4 decays to helium-4, releasing heat. There are other theories for LENR. The important thing to remember is that debate can't make the observations go away. Scientists can argue with each other, but not with nature. It is important to keep an eye on LENR because there are no dangerous controlled materials or expensive materials to keep it out of widespread use. The remaining challenge is engineering a reliable system, and that could change the world.